Now, I quickly want to play you Linda Burney during the week, basically uh, oh, accusing thanks. people like ourselves here on this show uh, of uh, Trump politics. Well, that's actually a compliment. Thank you, Linda. Thanks, Linda. Uh, um, yeah, absolutely. Trump <laughs> politics, you bet. I wish we had more of it. Um, uh, have a listen to her. The No campaign is being run by a group called Fair Australia. It is importing Trump-style politics to Australia. It is post-truth. And the aim is to polarise. Now, we, we're also going to show another clip in a second, but there was Linda Burney. Okay. I also want to play your Marsha Langton very quickly. Okay, uh, before yes. we do, yeah. just, just because Linda Burney has been big on this post-truth, <laughs> um, disinformation, misinformation, dangerous. This is a woman who has more than once repeated the deeply damaging flora and fauna lie, yes. which is just a myth. Even the ABC did a fact check saying this is a myth. Indigenous Australians were never under a Flora and Fauna Act, whether federal or state government. But it is an untruth that Linda Burney has repeated time and time again, and when she should have known better after several fact checks have come out, including that one from the ABC I mentioned, and yet she has the chutzpah to accuse others of engaging in damaging disinformation. And you know what? She's not alone because um, one of our colleagues <laughs> has also suggested something similar. Have a look. The idea is a good one. The outcome is a worthwhile one for the country. So we'll see whether whether the Yes campaign can put a decent uh, decent campaign together and knock back some of the scare campaign and misinformation that's and directed at the voice. It's at this desk. It's you at Sky News where a lot of the scare this. campaigns have been run. Oh, a lot of them are at this desk, this a lot desk. of the disinformation Let's go to campaigns the wide shot. have been Can we run? show the desk? At this this is desk. the desk Mr Kenny was referring to, presumably. This is the desk. So he's saying misinformation comes from this. Maybe they could give Chris Jenny, Kenny a job uh, at this new misinformation, disinformation bureau. Uh, to... He could be the czar. Exactly. He can look after that. I mean, seriously, <laughs> uh, what we deal with here in this show is dealing with opinion and de based on the facts of the matter and the reality is have a listen after half a trillion dollars or so that we spend uh, on indigenous affairs which uh, non-indigenous Australia pays through taxes through hard work through the sweat and toil of every day going out and doing a job over uh, 30 billion uh, a year over 30 billion dollars a year goes towards which we generously and willingly provide goes towards improving the lot of indigenous Australians and yet this is what Marshall Langton thinks we care about Indigenous Australians. Have a listen. People looking at these statistics uh, might ask, uh, well, if we keep going like this, every Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander person in the country will be locked up or dead uh, before long. Oh, That's there's just a hyperbole a disgrace. there. That is a disgrace. No disinformation there. No. But, you know, this is something that we spoke about last week and that fantastic piece by uh, Geoffrey Blaney yep. about the Uluru Statement from the Heart, which is so often presented as such a wonderful uniting document when it's actually very much a militant document. Yes. It's got all sorts of... There's nothing, there's nothing touchy-feely yeah. about the document. No, exactly. no. And, and, and <laughs> you know what? I would encourage Australians to actually read the whole thing because you keep having it presented as something that it is not and also look at what's to come after The Voice because if The Voice is successful, if the referendum does get up... It's not going to stop there. Exactly. The next step is treaty and payments where every Australian pays. That's the bottom line. And property is at risk, as we've seen. That is the bottom line.